Hi, welcome to my channel. It's me, Akiswan Yawola Bitu Mitayo. I am super excited to have you choose to learn from this channel. In this tutorial, I'll be exploring how to create the design that we have on the screen using our Pixel Lab. But before we get started, if you are new to this channel or if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, do make sure you smash the subscribe button right below and make sure the notification bell is turned on so as for you not to miss any of the videos that will be uploading anytime soon okay so i haven't said that i'm sure that you have subscribed at the moment all right so quickly let's get started all right very first thing you need to do is to launch your pixel app and thereafter when you launch it you have this kind of interface showing up and you have this new test showing so you just have to what, delete the new test okay then the next thing is for us to do is to work on our background okay so we need the app of an application called snapsy for us to be able to work on the background okay so quickly let's do launch our application named snapseed all right so when you launch your snapseed this is what you are going to see appearing on your screen okay so um the next thing you need to do is to click on the plus icon okay then you select this uh, image here okay so also select it then um we click on this uh, pen icon here okay then uh, we click on lens blur okay then um, so we gonna this lens blur I mean the the blur strength will increase it to 100% okay then we we'll come to where we have adjust so the transition should be 100 we click on transition then make the transition to be 100% to so make the transition to be 100% okay then we click on the adjust again and this uh, weakness strength will make it zero all right so now this uh you click on this blue um circle that we have here and then you drag it to the edge here like this okay then i uh, think it took it like this and if you are using i'm, I'm working using my pc so that's why i can't be able to you know to reduce it more than this or if you are using your smartphone you can be able to work to compress this uh circle more than the time in order for you to be able to get a perfect blur okay so now next thing you need to do now is to click on this uh, check mark okay and you click on um this download icon and then you click on export so automatically to export on your um gallery okay so now let's quickly head back to our pixel app okay then we click on the plus icon from gallery so then we select um, any of the image i think let's select the one that we just load now okay let's select this okay then uh, click on okay okay then uh, we rotate it so you click on this uh, rotation uh, icon that we have here then you rotate okay then uh, you increase the size okay increase the size very well and then you position it like this to the point that we'll not be having uh, this uh, sharp part of the image okay good i think uh, i think we are cool like this okay the next thing to do is to click on a layer icon so we're gonna lock it okay okay then what else do we do so we click on uh, plus from gallery okay then we'll click on this table i mean this book table okay then i'll probably reduce this like this and then we click on this check mark okay so we increase the size and then we probably position it or position it like this let's see so position like this can decide to drag this part down a bit yeah i think it's okay like this so what else do we do so we click on this uh, polygon shape here okay then um, you now come to where we have uh, color filters okay so the hue we're gonna make the hue minus six you should be minus six okay then um, we're gonna make the saturation to be like 23 or oh, let's make the brightness minus 100 okay then we make the contrast to be uh i think um 40 should be okay okay i think it's okay like this okay then i'll click on our uh, check mark beautiful 
then um, click on a layer button then we lock it okay so click on a plus icon again from gallery okay then i'll click on this chicken image okay i'll click on ch a check mark okay and um so we reduce the size a bit let me increase the bit i think that will make sure it is positioned well on the table okay then now you can let's make sure it is centralized so you click on our pen icon click on the um, relative position okay so you make sure it is positioned at the center okay then you click on ok all right so what else do we need to do so we need to go and copy our test so i will add up to my uh, notepad okay so i'll start with this uh, uh it's good food okay then uh, click on plus icon then uh, test okay so uh i'll increase this a bit double tap it so then we'll click on uh paste okay so you paste it okay then i click on okay good so then we go change um the font so go to the real font all right so my font we'll be using montserrat montserrat alternative so let's see this montserrat alternate extra bold italic okay that's what we'll be using in this tutorial okay then uh, we we'll reduce the size a bit okay then make sure that it's positioned at the center okay relative position okay uh good so i need to we need to reduce it more let's reduce it more then we need to reduce this to a bit okay i think it's okay like this then uh, let's make sure it is positioned at the center good okay so we're going to duplicate it so you click on the pen icon here okay then you click on copy okay then um we make sure that it's positioned well on the other test okay then what do we do so we come to where we have a color okay so we change the color to black okay then uh, we double tap on it and then we delete it okay so we're gonna delete it then we click on ok good so position this very well okay make sure that it's well seated on the white test okay then for the white test we double tap it okay so then we delete um, good food brief food i will click on ok good all right so what else do we do so we we're gonna duplicate this okay so we duplicate this then uh, we come to where we have a layer icon then uh this uh, we're gonna match match these two together so we click on this so we're gonna match these two together okay click on okay beautiful okay Good. So consider that we've matched the two together okay so we're left we're left with this so we are liked it and we go copy another test so um stay ld okay you can manually type the test yourself or better still you use the test um, file that will be included in our resource file okay and we click on okay beautiful so then this also do the same thing for this so duplicate it okay then uh make sure that this is positioned well on it all right then now uh, we come to color so we change the color to black okay then we click on ok beautiful then this will double tap it we delete the and then um we click on ok beautiful so then this uh, black ld so we're going to position it on the white ld okay then i will double tap the white stay ld so we're going to delete ld okay hope you got that then we click on okay beautiful so we now have two colors okay then what else do we do so we need to match these two together so how do we do about it so we click on our match icon here so we're going to i mean these check marks and click on match okay beautiful so we can decide to take it up a bit 
and then we can decide to reduce size a bit but i think here uh, it's okay like uh, this okay and next thing to do is to click on our plus icon again test all right then um, let's position this at the center here then we go copy another test okay so we double tap the new test so we're gonna uh i liked it and then we paste the one we've copied then click on ok beautiful so um then this i'm gonna change the fonts okay so click on my font so we're gonna be using the Montserrat. let's use the, this Montserrat uh, medium okay i think this medium should be okay medium okay I'll click on ok all right so so make sure it's positioned at the center then what else do i do um so i'll bring in the logo so i'll click on my plus icon from gallery okay then i'll click on okay i'll click on ok beautiful so this i'll reduce the size okay now but before i reduce the size let me increase the size back so i'll change i'll change the color so i'll click on the polygon shape here and i'll click on color okay and i will enable the color then i'll change the color to white okay and i'll click on okay i mean check mark and what else do I do to it? So I want to apply shadow to it. So I'll come to where I have my shadow. All right. Then I'll enable it. Okay. And uh, the shadow color should be this deep brown. So you can check out for the color code of the deep brown. So you see, this is the color code. Okay. This uh, 6A1F07. So for you to apply that same color code, you just have to click on your pen icon here. All right, then you put the same color code that we have here, and then click on there'll be a kind of check mark here. All right, so click on this check mark, okay? Then click on OK. Automatically, the color that be applied, and you click on OK. Beautiful. So then uh, this you can play with. You can play with um, all this. Let's make uh, uh, offset Y to be like seven. Then offset S. Let's make offset S nine. And uh, the blurry bios let's make the blurry just like six and i think it's okay like that now click on this check mark okay then we reduce the size no 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 we need to too much okay let's reduce this offset okay let's make this offset x to the minus two okay then we'll click on um, okay so we can now reduce the size like this okay then we'll position it up here all right now what else do we do click on our plus icon then shapes all right so we're gonna change this to circle all right then we'll click on okay then we'll click on the pen icon click on the relative position then we'll click on this and then we'll click on this okay then we'll click on okay good so then this now would we'll duplicate it okay we'll duplicate the circle beautiful then i'll we'll change so we we'll reduce the size of this a bit like this so then we we'll change the size i think uh, oh sorry we'll change the color okay let's enable this and then we'll change the color to this deep brown okay how do you get the color code click on the, um to check the color code this is the color code you can see this 6a that's the color code i use for the shadow so just input it and automatically the color will appear on your circle okay then i'll click on the uh, pen icon but before I click on the pen icon let's click on the check mark here okay then click on the pen icon and then click on uh, this relative position then we'll click on this click on this to make sure that it's positioned at the center all right so you can probably reduce you can decide to reduce this a bit so let me reduce it more beautiful i think it's okay like this okay i think it's okay like this all right so what else do i do now so i want to match the two together 
so i'll click on my layer icon so i'll match these two together beautiful I'll click on match okay so then before i reduce it so let me position in the test okay so i'll go copy the test now for 2k all right so i'll copy it then um, i'll click on my plus icon test all right so i'll drag this into the circle and i'll, I'll double tap it and then impute the test okay all right so let me delete that then um, i delete the 2k okay then um, i'll click on this a icon here so i'll change the font okay um i'll use a monterrat let me click on my recent font so i'll click on this i'll use um, this uh, monterrat uh, alternate okay i'll click on oh, okay beautiful i think it's okay like this so you can reduce the size a bit okay what else we do so click on the pen icon okay then we'll uh, copy it okay then uh, we'll double tap on the test and then we type in 2k okay so I'll click ok beautiful so we increase the size and then position it okay all right so what do we do so we're gonna match them together so match these two together first all right all right so for us to make sure that uh, this test is well positioned at its center of the circle so we click on the pen icon i mean the pen icon so we click on the relative position and then we'll click on this okay and then this good and click on ok beautiful so now we need to match the test and the uh, circle together okay beautiful all right beautiful so what do we do so we reduce the size okay so position it um, somewhere here so let me reduce the size more okay so I'll click on our plus icon um, from gallery all right then we click on this uh, scribbled arrow then uh, we click on the polygon shape that we have here all right so we're gonna change the color click on color we enable it and then we change the color to white okay then click on ok so reduce the size okay so we're going to position it here like this okay we make sure that the arrow is pointing towards the chicken okay so let's reduce it more so you can rotate it like this okay i think this is uh, okay beautiful then what do we do so we're going to bring up this on top okay so we can decide to match the two together all right so but i will not match it yet so let's leave it like that so, but we can decide to just um lock those elements let me lock them so that they will not be moving up and down all right beautiful okay we are almost done so what else do we do um let me unlock this so uh, i'll duplicate this i mean the chicken okay so let me lock this back okay then what do i do to the chicken that i just duplicated so uh i'll increase the size like this okay i'll increase the size then i'll click on my eraser tool okay good then um let me increase this a bit i'll increase this to the maximum then i'll start to erase okay so this might take your time just have to be patient about this so i'll reduce this okay then i'll um continue erasing okay just to make sure that this um i have a kind of soft edge okay around here so that is where i reduce the um threshold of the yeah the threshold of the eraser okay and um erase it more 
think it's okay like this then i'll click on the check mark beautiful so see what you can see what you've be, been able to do so what do i do to it so i'll come to where i have my opacity so i'll reduce the opacity i'll make it like i think 10 should be okay and i'll click on okay all right so i can decide to increase the size more yeah i think it's okay like this all right okay beautiful yes i think it's okay like this so what do we do to it so click on that um layer icon so we drag it down we drag it down so is make it to be at this point to be under the the chicken that we have on the table okay i think it's um honestly okay like this it's cool okay now what do we do again so i'm gonna click on our plus icon again then um, from gallery okay now we'll click on this blood leaf so we'll click on the check mark okay so we increase the size all right so so position this make sure that this is well positioned like this okay beautiful so what else do we do to it um i think it's okay so what do we do so we just have to click on our layer icon again so this will bring this up okay then uh, this test to the natural i mean it's naturally prepared chicken fillet uh, strip test so we're going to take it up okay so that uh, this green uh, leaf will not be covering it okay that's how doing that now what else do we do we're almost done so we click on our plus icon again then uh, shapes all right so we're going to increase this then we click on our O key. All right. So we reduce this like this. And break it down like this. Beautiful. So we're almost done anyways. So what do we do? So we're going to go to where we have our test. So I'll copy this. Okay. And I'll click on plus icon test. All right, so uh, I'll double tap on it and I'll paste it. I'll click on OK and I'll go change um, the color. I'll click on this A here and I'll change the color to black. Beautiful, and I'll click on OK. So I'll need to change the font. Okay, so I'll click on So we'll still use that same one, Terrat. Terrat. Let's see this semi bold, Montserrat semi bold. Okay, then I'll click on OK. I think this is OK and good. All right, so we're gonna increase the size like this. Okay, then um, then we click on a uh, uh, plus icon. Then um, shapes. Okay, so we click on OK. So reduce this reduce it very well then i will change the color change the color to this uh um, brown okay i'll click on okay then uh this we're gonna position it like this as a kind of uh, bullet okay all right uh, let's use our rule our ruler to you know as a guide okay and this we're gonna duplicate the the, the shape okay let's take away this so bring this somewhere here 
Okay. Alright, so I'll duplicate it again. And this should be somewhere here. Alright. So we click on our ruler again. So we can use that as a guide to see if they are aligned. You can see that they are aligned. Good, alright. Now what else do we do? So we click on our layer icon. Then um, we're going to match both the bullets and the test together. So we match them. Alright. Then we match them. Good. So we need to reduce the size. So reduce the size or position it like this into our into the white um, rectangle that we have on the table. Okay, so let me reduce it more. Beautiful. Then what do we do? So we click on our plus sorry on our plus icon test. Okay, so um we change the color. So let's go change the color first. So we'll change the color to black. Okay, so click on OK. Then um, let's go copy the text. So copy the phone numbers. All right. Then I will double tap on the new text and then paste the phone numbers. Okay. Then I will increase it like this. Then I will reduce the size. Um, let me change the font. Recent font. So I'll use this uh, Montserrat semi bold. Okay, then um, what do I do? So I'll click on where I have um, size, I mean test size. Okay, I'll click on the size. So I'll reduce the size like this. Okay. So I'll reduce it more. Beautiful. I think um, 19 is okay. But let me, let me make it 20. Okay. So I'll click on OK. Beautiful. Let me add 9 to this. Okay. Alright, so this I'll reduce it more. Good. Beautiful. Now click on the plus icon from gallery. Okay. Now click on this uh, arrow button. Okay, so we click on OK. Alright, so reduce. Uh, before we reduce the size, so we click on the double square we have here, double polygon here, so we click on the color, so we enable it and then we we'll change the color to this deep brown, okay, then we we'll click on OK, then we, uh, but before we reduce the size, click on the plus icon, okay, then we'll click on test, then uh, we double tap on the test and then we type in order now, okay, then we we'll click on okay beautiful so this we're gonna re increase the size and then uh, we change the font so click on this a now so we come to where we have um, fonts okay then recent font then we'll change the font to Montserrat semi bold then uh, that think it's okay like this so we just have to match them together okay and we'll just merge here, if I need to rush this video because my battery is seriously and uh, I don't want the system to off before I finish this video. Okay, so then this, so I will reduce this and then I will position it somewhere here. So I need to reduce it more. So I'll position it somewhere here. All right, guys, so you can see what uh, we've been able to do. So you see how beautiful it is. So you can so you click on the plug i mean the save icon here to save your design so i'll use um fried chicken okay to save it okay i'll click on ok okay so now you can also click on the plus icon again i mean you can also click on the save icon again and then click on save as image to save the design as an image on your phone okay so all right guys so you can see what um, you've been able to do so i'm sure you can also replicate this same design i'm sure you can do that just by um, following or uh, replicating the same procedures that i used in this tutorial okay guys so um we've come to the end of this tutorial i'll see you in the next video but before you go please do make sure you smash the subscribe button 
and then make sure that your notification bell is turned on so if you have learned from this video make sure you give this video a thumbs up see you in the next video thanks for watching do have a lovely day bye